I present to you. I present to you. It is cold. I want you to quit. I want to yes, see yes, you ladies and gentlemen. Do you blame so Coach Trump for doing the things that he uh, <laughs> had to do? Is it truly about the bag? Or is it about the opportunity? You see, ladies and gentlemen, what I thought and because I'm coming, I'm coming. Leon Dion had I'm to do or was doing <laughs> was hey. basically building something for the HBCU and having an movement and, and various other things and, 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 and this was going on and that was going on and so on and so forth and this and that. But at the end of the day, money talks. <laughs> And bullshit runs the marathon each and every time. So my people, you can't get mad at the man for chasing the bag. You cannot get mad at the man for doing what he needs to do for his and his, him and his family. You cannot blame the man for going and handling his business. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I present to you Fully focused. What would you do? He was getting paid three hundred thousand dollars a year from J from JSU. Now I understand um, a smaller school is not going to pay you more money. We understand that. But it was more than the money, and that's the reason why some people are kind of upset at what he was able to do because HBCUs got the right. Right. A lot of people was going to follow in his footsteps in terms of the HBCU movement and football and whatnot. So now he takes that and what does he do? He goes to a accredited FBS school or whatever the hell they want to call it nowadays. Still slavery, taking money. So ladies and gentlemen, what do you say? What say you, Coach Prime? Goes to Colorado. <laughs>